Guys, we got a snake. We got a snake. Got a snake. Got a snake. Got a big green snake here somewhere. There it is. Going towards where that blue. Big green snake under here. Well, I hope I caught it, guys. I hope I got it on the camera. I can never tell until I watch it back. But probably in my blooming vegetables now. They're just so fast. That's why I very rarely get them on camera. As soon as you see them, they slither away. But for sure now, that one is in. It's either in the vegetables or under the bamboo hut. I'm not sure which one I prefer because I speak asleep in the bamboo hut and I take care of the vegetables every day. So there is somebody that asks me about this every single week. They say, rat update, rat update. Well, we've moved the trap around a lot. Right, pull it out over here then. They can't get out. They're locked inside, don't worry. Come on, Ranger Tiss. Don't be scared, Ranger Tiss. Just pull it at the top there, see? No, up at the top. Yeah. Oh. There's somebody that asks Daddy every day, they say, Is, uh, did you catch the rat yet? Did you catch the rat? And we did, didn't we? So let's have a see. Not only one, two of them. You got one, one, one daddy, one and one open one. One for daddy and one for this. Yeah, one for, one for the bedroom, one for daddy's bedroom. <sighs> one for our bedrooms? Yeah. But we don't want to put rats in our bedroom, do we? Daddy, we can put the one in the cottage. No, what we've got to do with these rats is, they have lots of babies, you see. Really? So what we've got to do is take yeah. them far, far away and let them go. Did that come climb up, Daddy? That's right. So I don't know how we caught two of them in here. That's two. Good job, Ranger Tiss. Daddy, I did think I did got to go and find the cat now. Okay then. We're looking for the cat. Let's show them to Mummy. Caught last night, babe. Come and go me eat, Blaina. Me here alone. You need. Poor Yakin, mate. Come and me, when me, when me, you go look him up. I just have me like a I think I'll just drive him far away and let him go in the rice field. Yeah. Yeah, I want to say. Next to our fridge. <laughs> yeah. I use the bread for the bait. What? One rat, Daddy. Two rats. Oh. So we let them out here, yeah? Go. Go, go, go. Right. Daddy, Why, should we go and see if we need to catch some more? Yep. Right, let's go. It's nice fashion, babe. <laughs> Asking for trouble. Asking for trouble, babe. How might you think to a bad not, Jang Lai? Right, babe, so our first harvest of kale. It's very beautiful. What do you think? So mad, get mad. I'm actually quite surprised with it. Yeah, you can mad, babe. Right, very go. good at it. 
Well, last time we never got anything like this. Huh? It was just eaten by insects and horrible. Look at that nice thick stalk. Maybe organic one and maybe like no, no insects. No insects and also no fertilizer, no chemical fertilizer, no pesticides. So this one, actually, you just eat it. It's, it's completely clean and organic. And then as we harvest this one, we will plant the new one. So we got a good cycle. Kale. Okay, so I quite apple. Juicy. Healthy, juicy. So once every 10 days or so, I'll pump this pond. She's now full of algae and detritus. And um, I just pump it all out. It actually only takes about five minutes. You see how fast the water's going down here? Less than five minutes to pump the whole pond out and then I refill it with water. You've got two options really. You could pump it out like this or you could put a filter in. And the filter would obviously run the water and filter the water. But then you have to clean the filter every few days and so um, I just find it easier to just pump the whole water out and refill it. So other people would prefer using a filter. There's costs associated with the filters. If you want to uh, refill the, the filter lining, the sponge inside, and then obviously you've got to do, clean that every day. When you keep animals, guys, there's always an animal following you around, asking you for food, particularly Bella, but also it's the puppies, the dogs, the chickens. You get followed everywhere by these animals. And you kind of just get used to it as background noise, don't you, Bella? Don't you? Don't you, girl? Yeah. There she is, aren't you? She's a good girl. That's just, um, there's a chicken here, see? They all come running when you make that sound. These are our ladies. Our lovely, lovely little ladies. Ooh, mm, cracked on the floor too. That's another thing, like I have to jet wash this area because there's just crap on the floor like that. Fantastic. In the early days, we used to travel out for our coffee and uh, these days we make it all ourselves. You may see in the other vlog, we got this dark roast, Puntai sweet smoked, lovely. We do it ourselves and we save a lot of money and the coffee's better, we can make it exactly how we like it. This is made with um, fresh honey from the honeycomb which I order online here to the farm. I always get the honeycomb because I have a, I'm very sensitive to sugar and uh, I will get pain with sugar and if I buy honey in the bottle and it says 100% honey I still get pain. So I know that they're mixing it with corn syrup or something else. With the honeycomb they can't mix it and I, I have this and I get absolutely zero reaction to it. So it's a little bit tedious because you have to pull the honey off the comb to get it in. 
but um, I just make a little hole in the corner and um, I'm just kind of pour it out. Won't let it go, but it just pours out the corner there. And um, yeah, it means there's no corn syrup or sugar in it. It's pure fresh honeycomb. This comes from Chiang Mai. Um, can be purchased on Lazada. Uh, it's not very expensive, about 200 baht, I think, around that. And um, it's the real deal. It's the real deal. There is another one that I use sometimes. It's Craft Honey. I think it's also a product of Chiang Mai. Slight little bit more expensive, but I can't really tell the difference, to be honest, between the two. Um, and I sweeten my coffee with this honey. So it really is... Um, can make a nice perfect iced coffee, hot coffee, melatino, affogato. This one is perfectly fine, does the job. It was about 3,000 baht from Lazada. It does the job. And yeah, sweeten with honey. Watch out for that bottled honey, guys. Even if it says 100% honey, often I can tell you that's not the case. Um, it's not the case, unfortunately. to fall apart Lose myself and give my heart away Come and go in shady places mm -hmm. I used to sit and stare Now the light runs through my lashes It's taken 40 years, blood, sweat, and tears. We just order the ladybug here, 30 of them in here. It's like a carnival ladybird that is not eat leaf. We put in a vegetable so that we eat insect. So we will put them so it, it helps a lot. Put in the net, um, the greenhouse or greenhouse. So it will help a lot to keep 
or vegetable that healthy. Yes. So a bit crazy, I think. Are oh, some people that sell this one? <laughs> they can sell everything on online in online. You know? Now Thai ladybirds eat pack, yeah, don't they? They eat the vegetables. Bird, thai ladybird, yes. And uh, eat all leaves, mm. vegetable. Especially tangwa, cucumber. Cucumber, green yeah. Bean, yeah. So this one we protect them. Protect from insect and everything. So basically there's a few going to go in here with the cannabis just to protect against any mites. There's a few going in our vegetable garden to keep the aphids and the mites off the vegetables and we'll put some in the ingrow door just to keep mites at bay uh, just a few in here is fine and that's ladybirds natural pesticides we don't want to use any pesticides any chemicals or anything like that we never have with our vegetables we tried some natural pesticides before didn't we yeah but it, what did we what, try uh something organic organic one but what was it it was it's the made from sadao. I don't know how to say in English. Sadao is like a, it's like herb or something like that, and then stay away. Like a herbal pesticide, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot what it is now, but I'll put it in in just below here what it was. And um, but we tried it; it didn't work, did it? Work a little bit, and you have to do it all the time. All the time. It costs a fortune. Costs more than the vegetables is worth, right? So now we try natural pesticides. Oh, I ain't gonna live like this no more Most of my life's been waging war Till I found peace, I could've swore What she did shook me to the core And I ain't gonna live like that no And so when that delicious kale uh, and coriander is cooked up, you have this pad kale, fried kale with chicken. And we have the coriander uh, chicken and chili. I, I always think in Thai, so I'm a bit slow to explain this. Lab gai and pad kale, fresh vegetables and uh, eggs. So obviously the eggs, are are here from our farm the coriander is the kale is but we buy in the sauces and currently we buy the chicken however that's going to change um, as we move forward with the farming i should also mention as well that the rice is all homegrown from the rice fields here um damo's mum and dad's rice fields so i'd say 80 percent of this dish is homegrown or here's another example of the dishes, pumpkin. So this one's got the kudaparu in which we grow the chicken. We've got pumpkin growing at the moment. Delicious pumpkin curry and rice. Well, this is day two and we've caught a second one. It looks like a baby. And these are rice field, uh, rice field rats or rice field mice. I don't know if it's a rat or a mouse. I mean, somebody, maybe one of you guys can tell me. Is it a rat or is it a mouse? Its fur and its tail looks like a rat, but its ears a little bit mouse-like to me. Um, so that's three that we've caught. I'm guessing there is more. It's very strange because um, for the years that we've lived here, we've never really had a rat problem. And it's all just kind of come at once. I think we got one infestation. Uh, and now they're, they're, they're here. So we'll release this one far away from here. I ain't gonna live like this no more. And why, why do you not want to kill the rat, sis? Why do you want to let it go? Because you like the rat. You like rat? Yeah. Oh, but hold on a minute. What? Why do you like the rat? Because it's one very fat, like Odin, and Odin not want to be cute, obviously. We don't kill animals, do we? Yeah. Do you eat pig now or not? No. no. Do you yeah. chicken? Daddy, the toy she did 
Chicken Who eats chicken? Sausage chicken. Oh, we have chicken sausage, don't, don't we? Yeah. So we don't have pig sausage, do we not? Yeah, we're not going to do that. Mommy, too. That picture of Die Hard eat chicken. Mm, yeah, that's right. Yeah. We eat chicken, don't we? Yeah. What do I do now? Hmm. Go back home. And then what? And then play Dinosaur game. Cool, let's go. Yeah. Run! Shows how you run like Flash. <laughs>